Now, in order to do CVP analysis, there are some assumptions that have to be made. Uh, there's four specific assumptions that have to be made. The first one being that the selling price is constant. We're not changing the selling price. We're not doing anything else. When we're doing these analyses, we're assuming that these are the prices it's going to be for the period of time that we're doing the analysis for. The second one is that the costs are linear and can accurately be divided into variable and fixed elements. So if you're thinking about a mixed element or mixed cost, we want to be able to break that down into a variable and a fixed element. And we also look at them as linear. Variable elements need to be put in a cost, or, or co excuse me, variable elements are constant per unit. So again, we're looking at from the variable side, the constant side being per unit, whereas the fixed element, the total is the, the constant. Now, accountants, we try to look at costs as being linear. A lot of times, economists look at them as being curvy linear. Um, that's just an assumption that we have to make in order to do these CVP analyses. Uh, again, the fixed element is uh, constant. For multi-product companies, the sales mix is constant. So how we sell things in proportion to other or the total, we're going to assume that that's going to be constant. Again, these are things that's not always the fa always factual, but these are just assumptions that we have to make in order to do CVP analyses and rely on the, the information. And finally, for manufacturing companies, the inventory doesn't change. And this what is this dealing is is saying that the number of units that we produce is going to be the number of or equal to the number of units that we sell. These are four main uh, assumptions that have to be made in order for us to uh, do the CVP analysis and also rely on the information that we get from the CVP analyses.